one thing that I will bring up with the group is the concept of scapular mobility. And I've talked about this previously, um, I don't know if I talked about it yesterday, but the, the, the common way to, to look at the scapula is that everyone, everyone's scapula is unstable and it needs to be more stable, uh, which people often discuss uh, stability, but they actually are referring to rigidity. So people want their scapula to be very, very rigid. And with most people, you get your wish, because most people don't have a problem with the stability, per se, of the scapula. They have a problem with the motor control of the scapula, and they have a problem with their mobility, or controlling the scapula over a greater range of motion. Now, I said it yesterday, if you look at any sport, there is no sport where the um, action, especially if you're using your upper body, warrants you maintaining a set scapula. So protracts a lot, and I try to retract, and it stops. So she's missing that amount of retraction. Let me see uh, yours. If you go from the side, just protract, retract. So if you protract forward, now slowly retract back, we have a, a good amount of scapular retraction and scapular protraction. Now what I'm doing here is when I get people to practice retracting and holding, we're actually doing a regressive angular isometric load. So I'm getting his um, scapular retractors to, to learn how to function short. Somebody asked me, what would be the thing that's limiting the ability to, to retract the scapula? It's not necessarily a soft tissue issue. It's a motor control issue. Because those scapular retractors don't have the knowledge, or the nervous system doesn't have the knowledge, as to how to activate these muscles in a shortened position. And that's how physiology works. Most people have a good control over the mid-range of a muscular, a muscular motion. They have poor control over the long range, poor control over the short range. So in this situation, we would be training him to retract hard and, and hold some isometric sets. And I would be doing it at different angles. And we, do, we talk about this in FRC. See, when I go from a, a superior position, he has a, less, a lesser amount of retraction. Retract, it stops. And he starts to, start, he starts to activate his levator. You can almost see it twitch. Go back again. You can see levator starts to come on, and a lot of people start to hike the shoulder. So when you practice retracting, some people, instead of retracting straight, they'll start to retract like this. Because they don't have the ability to go straight back, so they cheat by, by making up some motion by raising the shoulder. You should also be able to, if you're going from a lower position, I should be able to tell you to bring the scapula back and down as you retract. Lesser motion. And what a lot of people will do is they'll go like that. Because, mostly because when I get people to do the exercise, people are surprised at how little scapular mobility they have. So they get to this point, maybe a, a, a centimeter, that's it for their scapular mobility. And like, that doesn't make any sense. So they start to pull more and they either start to twist or they start to raise in order to cheat. So establishing an ability to properly retract that scapula, and then to be able to, for example, do some scapula circles or be able to control the scapula in throughout a, a larger range of motion is probably more important to do, or at least should be your first goal before you talk so um, frequently about stabilizing the scapula. We want the scapula to be mobile. In other words, we want range of motion under control. Along the same lines, when you're rehabbing someone, a lot of the rehab for scapular stability isn't really realistic. I mean, when you're doing push-up plus and you're doing tube, tubing bear hugs or whatever scapular exercises you're doing for your serratus anterior, that's, that, that's all fine. But we want to make that a little bit more functional. And that's why we talked about the scapular pull-up and pulling up on, the, on a bar and just drawing the scapula back or doing unilateral scapular pull-ups so you're actually using these muscles with more weight, so you're using body weight in order to really train the mobility and control of the scapula. It's very important and it's missed um, in a lot of rehab programs.